Today, I'm gonna show you how you can install Echo VR back onto your headset. And yes, before this video goes any further, there is a way to do it via PC VR and a way to do it completely on your standalone headset without any computer at all. A lot of people, including myself, are huge fans of this game, so I wanted to inform all of you about how you can get it back. Long story short, after Meta took this game completely offline, a single modder found out how to get it working again via their own custom servers and less than a month of their spare time. So this happened about two years ago and the process has slowly evolved over time to now where we have a fully workable Quest standalone version and a PC VR version. All right then, let's get started with the standalone method and then move to the PC VR version. First off, if you have Echo VR installed, please uninstall it before continuing. Then open up your internet browser and please type in this URL right here, https colon forward slash forward slash echo dot avagusa.com. Then scroll down right over here to Echo VR Installer APK and hit install. Then scroll down here to the Echo VR Installer APK and click it to install it. Then open up your Meta Horizon store and install this free application called Mobile VR Station. This application will allow you to be able to install the APK properly. Then open the Mobile VR Station once it's done installing. Click this red button to continue. Go to Configuration Wizard. Go to Show All Options. Hit Configure Manage All Files and then hit open files all. And right here you'll see the APK that we just installed. So just click it, go to settings, make sure that you allow from this source so that it can install properly and hit install. Then once it's installed, you click open, then it will start downloading the data from their custom APK to allow you to play Echo. Then you'll need to select between these two options and this is where it can get a little complicated. The had Echo installed will be for anybody who has had Echo VR installed previously, and the new player will be for anybody that wants to play Echo but has never had it installed before the shutdown. First, I'm gonna show how to do it from the new player perspective. You'll be greeted with this page and you click on this part here that says open in browser. It'll open up a new tab for you that'll take you to the Echo VR Patcher Discord. Also, for those who don't have Discord, I understand that it's another platform to sign up for. Not everybody's the biggest fan of it, but you are getting to install this amazing piece of software for completely free. And the platform that you're signing up for is free, so there should be nothing preventing you from doing it. It basically offers an extra layer of security for anybody that may want to shut down this modified version of the game, and for them to allow you to have direct access to their gaming servers, which I will say, shout out to them for not only making this playable for us, but they're paying for servers for all of us to play on free with no donations or anything. Then go right here to the Create Your Patch DLL and react to this message right here. You'll get a DM from this person right here, the Echo Signup Bot Test. Scroll down to the bottom here and you'll see your APK link. You're going to want to copy this link however you can. I would recommend copying the text, pasting it in, and deleting all the text until you're left with nothing except the link, and then copying the link itself. After which, you can go back over to here, you might need to refresh the new player thing, and then press paste APK text. It will install everything for you right here, and it may prompt you to go into your settings to allow it. And then click update. And in case you actually had Echo VR installed, I'm gonna click on this now because I actually did have it installed previously. You just allow the permissions again, click update. Echo VR will install for you up here at the top if you are a previous player. But if you are a new player, then if you go down here to the bottom left, folder with a little question mark, click on that, Echo VR will install for you right down here. Now a very crucial step is that whenever this is done, you do not hit that open button or attempt to open it. Restart your headset, then go back in. Then you'll be greeted with this screen, which is where the Discord comes in handy that the bot texted you. At the top of the DMs, you'll see an invite here for the Echo VR Lounge that I mentioned earlier. Just click on that. I'm already inside of it, so it'll just go to there. And then scroll down on the left till you see this little area here called Command Central. Put this right up here, click Link Echo VR CE, and then put in the four letter code that you see in front of you. Mine is I K D L. Click that. Hit submit, and now I'm linked. So now, just go over to here, see Echo VR is right there, click quit, open it back up. Then once you're booted back in here, you just click accept for their license agreement, click continue, click accept, accept again, and now you're fully inside Echo VR on your standalone quest 
and you can click play to your heart's content. And after all that, you'll be able to fully play Echo VR and customize your character to your heart's content because it also unlocks all of the cosmetics. Now, keep in mind, you are going to have some issues with this stuff. It's not gonna be plug and play all the time. Sometimes you may have issues with connecting. It may automatically disconnect you from the server. Sometimes all you have to do is just close the game and boot back in. I even found it recently that in order to save your cosmetics, you actually have to customize your character, leave the game, go back in. It, it's, it's all janky because it's trying to revive a game that was technically shut down, but it all works, technically. It's there, you can still play it. There's just a few little workarounds, a few little hiccups. And now for the much, much easier method if you have access to a PC. Go to the GitHub link that I'll have in the description below for the Echo VR installer and install the Windows zip right here if you have Windows. After you unzip the folder, just open up the Echo VR installer.exe. And after running, you'll be greeted with this screen. The PC install Echo will be that if you've installed Echo on your PC before and played it, the update Echo PC will be in case you've installed this entire installer before and you need to actually update it. The no license patch down here will be in case you have never used Echo PC VR before and you're a first time player. And then you've got this option down here, which is the Revive. Revive is a system that allows you to be able to play any kind of meta stuff on Steam VR. And then over here on the right, you can still install it on your Quest via side loading it. You just need to make sure you have your Quest actually hooked up. The Quest install Echo will be then in case you have played Echo VR before, and the no license patch, of course, is in case you haven't. With the PC VR version, you can have it automatically choose a path or choose your own, and then you hit start download and it will install via PC VR, or if you have your Quest actually linked up to your computer via a PC VR link cable. You can click the Quest Install Echo, and then you can actually sideload it onto your Quest. And that's it. That is everything that you need to know in order to play Echo VR again on your Quest after the shutdown. Thank you to the amazing modders and the dedicated Echo VR community for keeping this alive. And if you want this to be easier, share this with a friend. The more recognition that this gets, hopefully the modders will be able to spend more and more time into this, and maybe by sometime next year we'll be able to have just a one-click install where you can fully go back into Echo VR without needing to do all this. Hope to see all of you having fun on one of the best games that has ever graced these fancy face toasters, and I hope to see all of you in the next one.